I'm joined now by Dr. Michael Cowley, who is a plenary lecturer on leptin, the link between obesity and heart disease. Thank you so very much for being here. My pleasure. We have long known that there is this link between obesity and heart disease, and your research now is helping people understand why. Yeah, that's correct. So for a long time it's been recognized that being obese or overweight dramatically increases your risk of heart disease, but the, re the, the reason for that hasn't been understood. What we're showing here is that leptin acts in the brain to increase sympathetic outflow to the heart and the kidney, and that drives up blood pressure and drives up heart rate. And clearly, blood pressure, high blood pressure, is going to be a major force in heart disease and perhaps a heart attack. Correct. So now that you know this information and this connection with the leptin, it's wonderful to have that knowledge, but what do we do with it in terms of moving forward for future research? So now that we've understood that leptin can cause these effects on blood pressure, the next step is to understand what are the signaling mechanisms that leptin's using in the brain to drive up blood pressure and, can, and then look at ways to try and block those signaling systems to reduce blood pressure in the obese. And when you think about ways to block them, clearly we're talking about at some point a therapy, but it sounds like based on the research that is many years down the road. Correct, so we need to understand what's going on inside the cells before we can block it. And this is sort of the same kind of thing that's done with cancer cells, where you look at the signaling inside cancer cells and then therapies that block that signaling. We'd use an analogous approach in the brain in response to leptin to try and block leptin signaling and therefore reduce blood pressure. It's a real challenge, but it sounds like there is a real need for more research looking into leptin. Oh, without a doubt, I think this is a really exciting new understanding of a basic physiological principle. But more than that, I think it does throw up opportunities for new therapeutic interventions. And is that the message that you're hoping to, that people get out of your talk? I want people to understand that perhaps for the first time, we understand why being obese give, increases your risk of heart disease. And I think that gives physicians better ammunition with which to talk to their patients about weight control. And also, hopefully in the future, it provides us with new therapies. You're right, because even if the patients don't really understand the science, if they know there is a specific reason and that doctors aren't just making that leap that we think people who are overweight are more at risk of heart disease, it tends to sink in better. And so the idea is to say rather than an association between being obese and, and, and disease risk, you can say we know that leptin causes, we know that being obese causes hypertension through this pathway. Right? And you're at risk of that because you're obese and you've got high leptin levels. So has there already begun any future research using this as a basis and a springboard? We're very actively engaged in this topic and trying to understand what's going on inside the cells and what we can block to reduce blood pressure. And we've shown that in lots of our animal models we can take an obese hypertensive animal and restore them to normal blood pressure by blocking some of these signaling systems. And this might be a whole new way of treating blood pressure, which is a plague for many people. Yeah, I mean blood pressure is well treated in general, but there are mm -hmm. some patients for whom things don't work and it's probably those refractory patients that would be looking for more novel therapies but yeah exciting research and uh, an exciting door opening for the future thank you so much, thank you very Dr. much. Callie.